on there so today I make a laksa Johor okay you can use uh, so many kind of the uh, the fish that you want you boleh gunakan apa apa jenis ikan yang you suka tetapi hari ni saya nak gunakan ikan yang biasa-biasa saja sebab nak makan berdua saja kan so untuk uh, untuk buat two portions only so I just make for simple but the fish is a lot lot of fish so firstly I'm using this one okay can you see this? Okay, selayang sardine um, 400 gram ya, yeah, murah je. Yang kecil-kecil je, 4 ringgit je. Ya, yeah, uh, untuk kita uh, apa ni uh, 400 kira 500 gram lah. Uh, you kena at least 500 gram tapi I pilih ikan ni tadi uh, 400 gram. So ikan sardine yang kecil-kecil ni uh, 400 gram. Dan untuk rasa lemak dan uh, rasa yang lemak dan sedap, I tambahkan lagi dengan Ha, ni dia ikan ya ini ikan ikan tamban ya itu 600 gram ya 600 gram maksudnya uh, 600 gram so campurkan kedua-dua ni jadi 1 kilo ini ikan tamban eh tu kan ikan tamban kan eh nak kata ikan apa ni ikan tamban okey ha ni ikan sardin so ni nampak kan ikan sardin kan so now uh, firstly we must uh, boiling this fish and you you uh, take off the gut inside this and and then you uh, boiling with the uh, peni uh, salt yeah you can rebuskan dengan air garam sampai dia agak agak mendidih daging dah masak lepas tu kita akan kopikkan daging tu so now let me check our ingredients okay y'all so firstly we boiling our fish okay this one is i boiling our fish see Okay, let it boiling until cook. Yeah, Wait, so stop. let we see our ingredient to make uh, laksa Johor udang or uh, Johor laksa uh, <coughs> prawns. Okay. So uh, see, firstly, uh, this one is a new flower because uh, uh, my previous. Flower is the tea, so I, I should wash first. Okay, I punya bunga yang lepas is kotor, so saya basuh dulu. So kita nak shooting biar nampak cantik. So um, so kita tak payah buang masa. So let we see our uh, ingredient. So firstly we need uh, ginger, okay, halia, galanggal, lengkuas dan two stick of lemon grass ya yeah, uh, peni serai yang satu ni kita akan blend this one we 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 want to blend this one just for punch it uh, or heat it so this one is a coconut paste uh, kerisik ya yeah, coconut paste uh, kerisik and this one is a kantan flower ya yeah, kantan flower and this one is a onion garlic okay onion garlic and uh, shrimp paste we a burn in the fire okay grill it this one is a shrimp paste a belacan kita bakar dulu so uh, this one is a uh, dried shrimps yeah udang kering uh, dried shrimp uh, udang kering uh, i soak first with the water kita rendamkan dengan air and dua kotak santan yeah dua kotak santan and and this one is a dua kotak santan uh, this one is a uh, coconut milk two box Okay. If you uh, want to uh, use a fresh, so two pieces of coconut. Okay, and then this one is a coriander powder and fennel powder. Uh, fennel, fennel powder is okay too. Okay, uh, jintan manis. Yeah, and this one is a turmeric powder. Yeah, ser serbuk kunyit. And we need this one is a dry chili i soak with the water until soft leaf because we want to blend together and moreover we need this one okay i'm using this one is a udang laut yang besar xl because we want to make a prawn laksa johor okay see okay this one is a spaghetti because original recipe uh, we use spaghetti yeah that's why i said because we have a look like a pan asian or uh, for johorian is like this uh, this 
laksa Johor. Okay. If you use another noodle that come another uh, name of recipe, another names of laksa. And we have this uh, laksa leaf. Yeah, laksa leaf daun kesum. And this one is a uh, I already made already uh, sambal belacan nenas mean pineapple sambal belacan see this one is a uh, pineapples see hmm voila and last but not least okay this one is our fish Okay, I boiling already and then cool. We separate. Okay, so, uh, take it uh, the the meat. Okay, this meat and the bone is take it off. Okay, separate it together. Okay. Now we left the bones. Okay, we left the bones. Uh, beside this one is the uh, meat. We take it. Okay, so we separate it like this. Okay, and take the bone off. Okay, and all, all, okay. See this? We take it. It's okay, it have left. Uh, bones a small bone is okay because we blend and they will find okay kalau tertinggal tertinggal sedikit uh, apa uh, yang dia punya tulang tulang yang kecil tu tak apa because uh, kita akan blend dia akan halus so yang tulang yang besar-besar macam ni so kita ambil ya okay so i finish already to Peel off the uh, meat and bones, okay, like this, and then we blend together. And this one, uh, the bones, okay, uh, we blend together, but we not take this. This is just for the juice. We take the juice of these bones, uh, but this one we take. Uh, we use these uh, meats of uh, fish, okay. Okay, now after finish, we blend it. So, see this, uh, our result. This is the meat of fish. See, voila. So much. I love a lot, lot of fish. Tastes so good. Yeah. Banyak, uh, dia punya, apa? Uh, isi ikan ni lagi sedap eh. Lagi lemak, lagi sedap. So, um, now we uh, blend our bones. Okay, this bone, yeah, tulang ni kita blendkan juga. This bone we blend together. See? Okay. It's okay. Okay, so now uh, we done blend our bones, uh, fish. And this one is a... Uh, filter okay the filter we want to uh, drain it okay All right so and then you squeeze because we want to filter this bone and the juice okay filter it mm -hmm. Okay, see now is uh, already filtered already. So we take it off. Kita biarkan dan kita use this juice, yeah, the the juice of uh, our bone fish. Okay, we want to blend our paste. I mean the bumbu dia. Kita nak paste kan dia and then kita blend first. Uh, dry chili after we soak. Okay, and then. We add uh, coriander powder, fennel, yeah, jintan manis, and dry 
shrimps ya udang kering okay and onions garlic and shrimp paste we add together also also gar uh, ginger uh, one stick of lemongrass and galanggal yeah halia lengkuas dan juga uh, serai also we add our turmeric powder now we blend all together our pot uh, and then uh, put a little bit of oils and heat it so with a low heat and then we fry it okay we saute our uh, grounded ingredients So after uh, three minutes saute, so now we see is a uh, smell is aroma is smell good, and the oil is uh, on the top of this space. So we add this one is a uh, lemongrass and uh, laksa leaf or daun kesom. Kita masukkan. And then this one is a kantan flower and keep saute stir fry until it uh, become together okay and then we okay it looks so good and we add this uh, tamarind peel asam keping yeah, tamarind peel and keep saute okay meanwhile uh, I must boiling our uh, this, there is egg yeah, and spaghetti Okay, let it boil until it's soft and tender spaghetti. And a stock of fish. This one is a stock of fish. Yes, yeah, stock ikan. Alright. Okay, after two or two minutes, it's uh, boiling. Now we add our uh, shrimps. Uh, this shrimp, uh, prawn, this prawn, uh, you uh, must be cut like this because uh, we preparing and clean it. Okay, the prawn and then put all. Because we want a stock of this prawn. Okay. And after five minutes, we take it off the uh, uh, shrimps, the prawns. Okay, now after three minutes, uh, we take back our shrimps, our prawns, because we want to make our garnish in the top. Okay, we done take all of uh, prawns. Now we add our now we add our fish. Okay, grounded fish. 
All right. And mix it well. Voila. See? let it boil before it boiling so I want add uh, our coconut paste grisik kita eh. so we add it and mix it well Okay. <laughs> wow, this is a brown laksa joho. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is so so delicious. Smell is good. After our soup paste is a boiling, see. Mm, smell is good. <laughs> the aroma, voila. Mm -hmm. I love laksa joho. Okay. Mm hmm. Because I'm from Joho, I'm Johorian. Okay, so now we add our milk, yeah, coconut milk. All right. Okay. See the base. Mmm. So we must tunggu kejap sampai dia agak pekat sikit until the sauce is thick like spaghetti. So now we add our salt. Yeah, sedikit garam. Uh, mostly they use a uh, uh, palm sugar but today I don't have a palm sugar biasa dia orang gunakan uh, apa uh, gula melaka tu gula jawa tu so tapi tak ada so I gunakan gula pasir je eh. so add a sugar a little bit of sugar ok hmm voila ok if you want to use a salt and sugar is ok but for me, I want more taste, more delicious. So I add a little bit of MSG. Okay, but if you don't like, you don't eat MSG, so don't put MSG. But I want to put it. Okay, because it's quite good, much more than use the sugar. Mm hmm. So we done uh, cook our sauce of laksa joho means a brown laksa joho. So see, I want to show you our our paste. It's like this. See, it's so thick. Okay, dia pekat macam ni eh. Mesti kena pekat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pekat macam ni Nampak Hmm Ya yeah. Okay Hmm It's done It's cooked So this one is a spaghetti Because we want to preparing for serving Ya yeah. To serve our uh, brown laksa joho. So this one is uh, our spaghetti. Because the laksa joho is original. Is used as spaghetti. The original recipe. Okay. So this one our garnish. This is a long bean. Chop. Chop long, long bean. And this one lime. Uh, cucumber. Uh, ni lima kasturi. Uh, kacang panjang kita potong. Ini uh, cucumber uh, timun. Yang kita potong. And then yang ini telur rebus ya. Yeah. Yang ini uh, sambal belacan nenas is uh, uh, pineapple sambal belacan and this one is a uh, 
slice of uh, onion onion slice okay and this one is a uh, tofu yeah tofu if you use uh, this tofu is original recipe but if you use a tofu pork or tofu bantal dia dah jadi seakan-akan laksa nyonya ataupun laksa kari Singapore ok so now uh, moreover we have this uh, bean sprout yeah? uh, toge uh, this is a, a blanching uh, bean sprout yeah? toge yang kita syelokan so now we given the paste the sauce to our pasta our laksa so now we garnish our uh, uh, laksa johor so first we given a tofu ok given the tofu here and then the slice of uh, onion and then we given the uh, long bean chop chop long bean Okay. Then we given we give it calamansi and we given this one is a cucumber and bean sprout. Okay. Then we garnish with kantan uh, flour. And this one. Also we have egg. And because this one is a brown laksa joho. So I give brown here. And a little bit uh, sambal balachans. Means uh, pineapple sambal balachans. Given here. Put there. Okay, so now it's done. Okay, all tada! So this is our um, lux, uh, brown laksa joho. See? Tastes so good. This is my favorite laksa because I'm from Johor. So I love, love, love laksa Johor. Mm -hmm. So now let we mark bank. Bless all Lord this food to my use and us to this service and keep me ever mindful of the needs of others. In Jesus' name, Amen. For this and all I am about to receive, make me truly grateful, Lord. Through Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 For food in the world where many walk in hunger. For faith in a world where many walk in fear. For friend in a world where many walk alone. I am give you thanks, O Lord. Our dear Heavenly Father, I am thanks thee for this food. Help me to do our part in kind words and loving needs. I am asked in Jesus' name. I am thank you, God, for this our food, for life and health and every good. Let manna to my soul be given good, the bread of life sent down from heaven. Amen. 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 Hiya, how are you today? So meet me again in another recipe, another menus. 
So today I make a very famous and my, my favorite recipe is a prawn laksa joho. It's a fifth is laksa joho but I change uh, to be my taste is a prawn laksa joho. So now let me eat it. Lime, lemon paste is just calamari. Calamansi. Okay, it's a bit. Voila. Okay, so I try first my laksa johor. Is a proud laksa johor. <laughs> wow, mm, that's so, so good. Mm. Yeah, kalau you masak uh, menu ni, kita jangan lokek gunakan um, udang eh, udang kering tu kena lebih sikit. Lepas tu, dia punya ah uh, udang tu kena rebus sekejap, lebih kurang dalam 3 minit untuk kita dapatkan stok dia. Lepas tu kita letak lagi dia punya isi ikan. Memang terbaik. No. Ya. Hmm. Ini boleh cuba kat rumah. Ya. Sebab uh, rasa Johor ni dia memang agak kering sikit kuah dia. So saya ada bawa kuah lebih sikit ya. Eh. Ha, sebab saya suka makan yang agak basah-basah sikit ha, So kita tambahkan sikit kuah dia Lalu kita gaul, gaul, gaul Ya Itu hmm. ada, ada limau nipis uh, Ada apa, sambal belacan sikit eh. Perahkan sedikit limau Untuk rasa masam-masam sikit kan hmm. Ada sambal, bela sambal belacan sikit hmm. Sedapnya Ok so Kita gaulkan semua bahan ni Dan udang ya. Nama browns Laksa Johor, udang dia kena besar-besar macam ni Kalau buat laksa Johor, tak boleh udang kecil-kecil Kalau udang kecil-kecil, tak payah buat Hmm <laughs> Memang sedap dek non Yang cuba, jangan tak cuba resipi Ada orang buat resipi um, Laksa Johor, dia orang letak Kari Tapi, I tak suka kari <laughs> I'm not I'm not interested, I tak suka kari Saya kata tadi, um, uh, ada orang kalau masak dia letak uh, kari Tapi I tak letak kari Because I tak makan kari Faham? I tak suka kari Because the smell is not good Sebab macam ni pun dah sedap eh uh, Kalau ikut resepi saya sebab uh, takkan you nak buat spaghetti dengan kari eh Macam tak kena kan So itu semua resepi tipu kan je kan So uh, resepi yang sebenar dia macam ni yeah? Nampak kuah dia seperti kari Kalau you tengok kuah dia It look like kari Okay Kan Macam macam guna kari kan Tapi tak guna kari eh? Tapi kalau rasa dia lagi sedap <laughs> Lagi sedap Hmm Kalau you nak buat yang uh, resepi yang original uh, Resepi laksa Johor yang original Dia tak ada udang Dia tak guna udang Dia guna um, Hanya ikan lah eh. And kari I'm not sure Kalau dia orang guna kari Atau tak guna kari I'm not sure But for me I'm not using kari You know Tapi I rasa tak guna kari pun Itu cuma hanya Mek um, Hanya dia orang mengandaikan rasa seperti kari Sebab 
kita gunakan uh, ketumbar dan jintan uh, jintan manis dan kita blendkan dia seakan-akan keluar rasa itu tapi dia bukan rasa itu. Ya kalau you tengok resepi nak buat serbuk kari pun mesti ada dua bahan tu. Ya. So, saya orang Johor, so saya memang Saya um, memang suka laksa Johor ni So, saya ada dua laksa yang kalau dia suruh buat pilihan laksa yang ada di Malaysia ni So, first I buat, I pilih laksa Johor lah, saya memang suka laksa Johor And then kedua, saya suka laksa Sarawak Sebab saya kan James Brock, kan Mr. Brock Memang sedap eh Memang sedap Memang 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 best ha, Rasa dia memang Memang lagi sedap daripada uh, Menu yang asal lah Sebab tu saya namakan dia uh, Laksa Johor Udang Ni untuk tahu ni You boleh gunakan You biasa untuk laksa Johor Dia memang gunakan laksa uh, Apa ni Uh, tahu ni saja. Kalau you gunakan tahu pak and then gunakan mi uh, bukan mi uh, spaghetti. So itu bukan rasa Johor eh. Itu rasa penipu, ya. Yeah? Uh, be careful lah with that sebab kita control resepi tu kan. Eh? Rasa Johor mesti dia ada ciri-ciri uh, pan Asian, uh, Melayu campur dengan Inggeris sebab orang yang menciptakan uh, resepi ni dia tujukan untuk raja dia. Sebab raja dia berdarah Melayu Inggeris Jadi ada belacan kat dalam tu Ada spaghetti uh, That is like that lah eh. uh, Memang Begitu Kalau you guna tahu pok tu Dia dah jadi macam laksa nyonya Ataupun laksa kari eh. Kari laksa Singapura You makan kari laksa Sing Singapura is like that But ni bukan laksa kari Ini laksa Johor Ha huh? Sebab bagi saya, artis-artis ke siapa ke nak buat masak Dia orang bukannya ada tauliah eh Dia tak bertauliah So kita tak boleh kata uh, Artis tu masak, ok dia masak macam tu uh, Dia kata ikut resepi dia macam tu Dia tak bertauliah So dia you tak, dia kalau dia kena saman ya yeah, Dia kata tidak ada tauliah Sebab orang yang ditauliahkan untuk masak dan muncul di kaca TV So mereka mempunyai Uh, iktiraf daripada kerajaan Malaysia So dia tahu kalau undang-undang kita memasak Kita copy right contoh Kita cetak rompak orang lain punya uh, resepi Kita kena ikut Kalau kita tak ikut resepi tu Kita kena change the title Ataupun kita tukar um, Jangan namakan dia seperti itu Ya yeah? Because dia ada hak cipta Ya yeah? Kalau you kata I nak masak Masakan menu orang Melayu So Kalau you nak masak menu orang Melayu That's mean Negara yang kontrol menu masakan Melayu itu ialah negara Melayusia ya, Melayusia, Malaysia is a Melayusia Bukannya negara-negara lain eh. Jadi kalau Orang Melayu tidak recognize itu Resepi asal daripada um, Apa ni, dia orang punya warisan dia orang So itu bukan resepi tersebut ya, Sebab, sebab uh, zaman sekarang ni Manusia ya, Mencari duit eh? uh, Mencari duit So benda-benda macam ni pun Dia boleh jadi copyright control boleh jadi. Sebab itu hak cipta, harta intelek Ya So I tak mahu Cakap banyak mengenai perkara tu I dah buat mat bank, I dah buat Video sebelum tu Tapi hari ni sampai juga hajat I Ya yeah. Aha nak buat laksa Johor Sebab I memang suka laksa Johor Tapi nak buatnya tu tak ada masa Sebab dia banyak benda nak kena buat Nak kena prepare everything Dan I tak nak buat uh, Resepi tu sama seperti laksa Johor Sebab 
I tak mau samakan sebab dah banyak sangat orang buat resepi laksa Johor. So I nak buat resepi laksa Johor udang. Hmm? Laksa Johor udang Alexis punya. Alexis. Macam mana? Okey ah? Hmm. Okey. I tak perlu nak Jangan buat banyak I hope you enjoy my recipe Enjoy my menu So sampai berjumpa Di lain masa Di lain menu Di lain recipe So salam sayang Daripada saya Alexis Wandi Islam untuk anda semua Bye Okay ni I nak tambah lagi Kuah dia I memang suka sangat eh Aha Sebab dia Pace dia macam Kental-kental Macam pekat itu kan Rasa terasa udang Terasa everything Semua rasa Kerisik pun rasa eh Hmm Oh, <laughs>